Do you use Tinkercad to design your 3D prints? Well, stay tuned and I'll show you a few tips and tricks. Tinkercad Tips and Tricks is brought to you by the generous donations of my Patreon supporters. In this episode, we'll talk about using the ruler midpoint. This is the frame of a high five spinner. It's something Joel Telling, 3D printing nerd, did in one of his previous videos. I'm going to show you how to make just a section of this in Tinkercad, just this one section here with two holes. And I'll show you how I'm going to use the midpoint to make it easy. So the first thing I want to do is zoom in here and then bring the ruler in. Now I'm going to put the ruler right at a corner of a block here just to make it easier, but you don't have to do that. So there's this feature on the ruler where you can click on it and it'll change to use midpoint dimensions versus endpoint. That's what I'm going to show you that's really handy. So right now it's at endpoint. I'll bring in a cylinder and I'm going to resize this to the same dimensions that Joel had. So 28 millimeters in diameter and then I'll make it 7 millimeters tall and I'll make it nice and round here with the slides option on the new beta. So that's just a standard cylinder, no big deal, right? Now I'm going to go over to the ruler and I'm going to say use midpoint. So now when I click on it, it's showing me the offset from zero. So if I make these two zero, both X and Y, it's now centered to the ruler, right to the zero, zero point of the ruler. See how it's centered to the disc? Now all dimensions are easy because what I can do is I want a second one exactly 30 millimeters away from this, center to center. So I'm going to duplicate it, first I select it, then I duplicate it. Now I have a second one, I drag it out here, and now because I'm still on midpoint, all I have to do is change the dimension here to 30. And now they're exactly 30 millimeters apart. And it's still 0, 0 on the uh, Y direction, so they're both in line. And I'll just group these two together, and I've got my two discs exactly 30 millimeters apart and together. So now I want to make the holes for the bearings to go into. So I'll bring in another cylinder and let's make it the same dimensions that Joel did. He did it 22.05 in diameter and right now I'll make it seven millimeters tall, same height. I'm going to actually change this, but I'll do the same thing here. Zero, zero, and it centers right on the center point of the axis again. So now I can set Duplicate this, make another one, here click on it, duplicate it, slide it over, and basically do the same thing. Set it to 30 millimeters, center to center. And then here it was offset a little bit, so I'll make that zero. So now they're in line. And I want to make these guys into a hole, because they're actually the holes that's going to go into the other cylinders. Group them together, and now when I use the align tool, both in the X to right, X and Y direction, because they're both centered 30 and 30 millimeters, they're in line with each other. Now, the holes actually need to go through the base a little bit. So let me uh, grab here. Here's the arrow. I can drop it down. And, well, that's not right. I need these things to actually be a little bit taller. So let me change this to uh, 9 millimeters here. And now let's drop it again. So I want it to go all the way through. So there I dropped it through, and, and now I've got the basic hole and frame. So now it's easy. I just bring in, I know everything's 30 millimeters apart. I just bring in a block, and I make this thing the 28 millimeters wide or tall to match the diameter, and 30 millimeters wide, and then 7 millimeters high. Now that I'm still using the midpoint thing, so if I change to endpoint, then I can change this to zero offset so it's flat on the bed. Now I just align all these guys together in the X and Y direction, and it should line up perfectly, and it does center to center of the holes. I group them together, and I've got the first part of the spinner. It's that easy, just because I was able to use the midpoint. So you can see now the next step is to take this piece and reproduce it five times at exact angles. I'll save that for a future tinker tip, so stay tuned for that one. So just remember, the midpoint versus endpoint on the ruler is what you want to use to make perfectly spaced dimensions. So there you have it, a little helpful tip or trick to learning Tinkercad. So if you like this, let me know in the comments below. 
Also, if you want to check out some of my other videos, just click on them over here. If you want to help support the channel, a dollar a month to Patreon. If nothing else, click on my logo and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.